So, if you like algebra, this is the only page that we're doing that actually has algebra today. If you like algebra, you can do this with algebra. Okay, so how do you do this with algebra? Well, if you're trying to measure something in the real world, it has a height. So in the real world, I'll do big H, right? The height of the real world, uh, the height of the object in the real world compared to the distance to the object in the real world, that's their big D, is proportional because of similar triangles. The height of the object in the picture compared to the distance to the picture. This very simple looking formula, even if you're sort of like shaky on algebra just a little bit, this is not as bad as a lot of the things that you've seen in your, in your textbooks, right? This is not bad. This is what makes Toy Story look three-dimensional, whereas like Fred Flintstone is flat, okay? The way that you make these animated characters in the computer look like they actually live around in three space is just this simple formula. That's all you do. As a matter of fact, you can like draw beautiful pictures in Excel if you know the, where everything is in the real world. So, okay. So, if you do like algebra, though, and you think, oh, yeah, that's really easy, I have a puzzle for you. I'm not going to tell you the answer. So for those of you who think, oh, yeah, similar triangles, really easy, here's a quick puzzle. So imagine you have an artist drawing a picture of a squirrel on a three-foot cubicle pedestal. Now, in the real world, the back of the cube is the same size as the front of the cube. But in the picture, we know that the image is smaller, right? And you can actually put your ruler down on the picture, and you can actually measure that on your picture. So you can measure, for example, that on the picture, the image is only 9 tenths the size of the front. So the question is, how far was the artist from the squirrel? Now this kind of a question actually comes up a lot in something called photogrammetry. If you want to like analyze um, uh, satellite data, or you're taking a photograph of a crime scene, and you want to reconstruct like how far did the car skid based on the skid marks, you want to be able to look at a photograph and figure out things again about the real world. And that little algebra formula that I told you also tells you how to go backwards. So that's a cute puzzle. And if you love puzzles and you want to know the answer at the end, or you think you have an answer and you want to check it with me, let me know. So this is your puzzle. <laughs>